That's how you do it. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, hey, hey, how you doing? I know you guys are wondering, okay, what is she doing? Why is she running? I believe that you should always be summer ready all the time. So I'm warming myself up because today's show, hold on a second. Let me just stop so I can talk to you guys. Welcome back to paradise. The good news with Tabitha Christopher, where everything is always cool and iry. I'm your host, Tabitha Christopher. Today's good topic is on how you can be summer fit for life. We have the fitness pro trainer, Andy Dooley, here in paradise with us today. So I'm warming myself up because he's getting ready to put me through a surprise workout. No, I don't know what it is. He won't tell me. So I'm trying to get my mind right, trying to get my body right, so he doesn't kill me. I'm sure he wouldn't. But before we go there, I know you guys want to see me get killed. Let's find out what the word of the day is. Hebrews 12, 11. For the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. I'm so excited to have a fellow athlete in paradise with me today because they understand what you mean, the, the pressures that we go through in training. I'm about to be put through some of that today. And I know you guys can't wait to see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let me tell you a little bit about Andy. He was a star college football player. He also made a goal at a, at a very young age that has been an impacting his life since then all the way till now, as well as lives of many other people. He's a husband father, avid businessman, and trainer to Hollywood's elite, as well as those in his community. Would you guys please say hello to Andy Dooley? <laughs> Thank you How so you much. How you doing? Yes. Appreciate you. I'm so glad that you're here. You're already glistening. I mean, I just show up and you're already sweating. What's going on? I'm nervous, okay? I'm nervous, all right? Because I don't know what he's going to do with me, okay? He didn't tell me. I asked and he wouldn't tell me. I appreciate your transparency. Appreciate it. Okay, that's, that's <laughs> great. Thank you so much. You know, feel a little better already, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in and find out more about him. So, um, how did you handle the pressures of being an athlete? Well, you know what? I used to take, because I got made fun of, of my lifestyle trying to walk with Christ and be an athlete, but I tried to take the negativity yeah. and funnel it towards my opponents that I was playing in the game. Ooh. So, that was my way of not unleashing back on my peers. <laughs> I feel sorry for the opposing teams. Oh, this is man. a big guy, my goodness. Um, why didn't you go pro? Well, you know what? The Lord called me out of that, that walk that I was heading in. You know, I, I thought my destiny and calling was to go to the NFL and be a witness for people through that route. Right. And then I remember one night I woke up and God took the desire out of my heart. Wow. For football at the time because I was fighting it for a while. I got injured, and I rarely got injured. Wow. I, I hurt my ankle, my shoulder, and I wasn't an injury prone type of person. So God knew, okay, I need to snatch it out of your heart, take away the desire of the sport, so you could sit down and listen to me and hear me out. And he told me I would affect the youth, athletes, people all over the world, but just in a different angle. It's perfect. That setback was only a setup, guys. Oh, yeah. See, God, God is so awesome in how he does that. We get frustrated in the moment of when things right. are happening when they're not going our way. Yeah. But then later on, we realize, my goodness, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now, which is, okay, for example, somebody comes up to you and say, okay, Andy, I am ready to change and transform my life. Mm. What are the things that I need to do so I can look and feel better about myself? Well, one, yeah. hands down, you need to start with the mind. You have to tell yourself right away, you want to do this for yourself. Right. No one else, not your husband, not your wife, friends, boyfriend, girlfriends. It has to start with you. Yep. Okay? Number two, yeah. consistency and discipline. You have to be consistently disciplined. Period. If you don't stay consistently disciplined, you're going to set yourself up for failure. So what about if one day I just don't feel like it? How about that one day turns into a week? Is that Those are the best days that you don't feel like it. Oh. Well, yes. Those days catapult you to the next level. It's when those days that you 
have pre-workout in your system, you're happy, yeah, you're yeah, looking yeah. forward to going to the gym. Right? Those are easy days. It's those days that you don't want to go to the gym that you push through those thresholds that you wouldn't if you just sat home and just said, no, I'm not doing it today. Okay. Well, what's three? Number three, patience. The biggest one, period. Uh. The reason why I say patience is huge is because it is a lifestyle. It took you a while to get to the place that you are now. That's true. Right? Mm -hmm. So now you need to have patience to get out of it. And be, it's a marathon race. It's not a sprint. Patience. So essentially, I can't start today and then I'll have see results like in two weeks. Nah. Drop 25 pounds in two weeks. How about that? No. No? That's okay. not healthy. Andy, now you're the face of Reeboks. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How are you going to use this vehicle for the kingdom of God? Oh, my goodness. By staying humble and being able to use this that everyone needs, like fitness, being healthy, mm -hmm. and using it to show them how you can be normal, healthy, and still love God. You could be cool, you can still love God and affect others. The thing, Jesus came here, what did he do? He served us. Yeah. And so that's what I wanna do. I wanna serve our community, I wanna serve our people, and it's just an extra cool thing to have Reebok pushing behind you, but. I know, right? Just, just stay the same person, be who you are, and that's how I plan on doing it. <laughs> Workout time, man. I'm ready, I'm warmed up, I feel comfortable somewhat. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna do, Yeah. we're gonna have fun with it. Okay. Just simple deck of cards, okay? And I've attached different movements to each suit of cards. So I will pull the suit, and yeah. then I'll tell you what you're gonna do. That, the element of surprise. This is like poker. I mean, a, I don't play poker, but I think this is, okay, whatever. So, first movement's gonna be, you're gonna do push-ups. You have seven push-ups, okay? That's it. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna demonstrate it for you to make sure you do push-ups correctly. All right, you got and it. And then from that point on, pull it out. You. So you're here, body's erect, core tight, and you're gonna, this time, your elbows are gonna go back. Okay. okay? Oh, we do tricep push-ups? Push Come oh, on, yeah. Andy. That's right, straight down, up. Down, mm -hmm. up. Okay. So on you. We right now? Yes. We're on. Okay, Seven. guys. Here we go. Count it out for me, Andy. Okay. Here we go. One, two. Nice. Three, four. And he would pick seven. Five. I don't like him. Six. This is when you start handing your coat. Seven. All right, we did it. Okay. You're going to turn right over. We're going to do V-ups. Okay. Okay. You have eight V-ups okay. from this point on. Okay, let's see what we do. And up, go. Okay, so what about those that can't do the full V-up? If you can't do a full V-up, you can just come up. I, okay. <laughs> you can just come up and touch your knees. Oh, okay. Okay? Oh. There you go. And then switch it up? One, there it is. You see how trainers count? They Two. double up every movement. <laughs> Three. How's my head positioning? Great. Oh, okay, great. Great. Four. Oh. There we go. Are we done yet? How much am I doing? Five. You have three more. You see all this complaining I'm doing? Uh-huh. And he doesn't like it. And I'm a trainer as well. I don't like it. Seven. And we'll but... just keep going if you keep doing that. Okay. Hey, yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Okay, up. We have nine squats. Nine squats. Okay. Nine squats. Facing okay. camera. I need you to come up here. Okay, all right, cool. Okay, we have nine squats. I want your weight in your heels. Huh? Okay. Keep your knees wide. Knees wide, okay. Am I mean, holding my whole no. night? Up and down. Up and down. Two, three, nine. Are you guys cheering me four, on? Come on. Five. You should be doing it with me. Six. Don't let me talk, be tortured by myself. Mm-hmm. Nine. Oh, oh, hey. There it can is. Can I get a high five? Yes, you I'm can. Doing pretty good awesome. work. Good work. If I now, myself. Okay, here we go. Five. Five. Five jab crosses. Oh, okay. okay. Remember, fighter stance. Left yeah. leg forward. You're going to need to back up a little bit. Okay. So you don't hit me in the face. Five. Remember, five each. Jab okay. cross. Go. Here we go. Three, four, five. Nice yep. job. Nice job. Okay, here mm -hmm. we go. Ooh, ace. What that does means that mean? 11. Oh, okay. 11. 11 what, though? Jab crosses. Same, oh, okay. Same suit. Okay, cool. Go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nice That's job. Shot. Nice job, nice Rock job. And rolling, guys. I'm okay, doing here great. we go. I'm doing Six. Great. Sorry, sorry. All right, we're down in a plank position. Okay. Get down in a plank position. Uh -huh. We're gonna do shoulder taps. So you're gonna set your delts one at a time. Left, right. You okay. have six of them. All right. You know how we count. One, 
Two. <laughs> Three. Four. Are you guys doing this with me? Five. I hope you are. Stay in that position. You have, yeah? You have three more. Three more? Go. <laughs> yes, let's go. I'm not going to talk to you guys anymore because every time I do, and I get stop. punished. Save suit. Back at it. Three what more. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Okay. You know I love you guys, so if I shut up, Two. it's not because I don't love you. Three. Okay. Four. Four. Wow, we're back in same thing. Four. Back at it this again. This is you breaking the rules. One. This is not fair. Two. Actually, I'm loving it, guys. Three. This is really good stuff. Four and stop. Okay. Good job, girl. I. Good job. You. <laughs> we. Rock. This is how you stay summer fit for life. Remember the three things he talked about. First, get your mind right. That's right. Two, you got to be consistently disciplined. Mm -hmm. Three, what was three? Three was patience. There's one thing I want to leave you guys with. You want to make sure that you get 1% better every day. Just imagine, if you go 100 days straight, you're 100% better than you were 100 days ago. All right? OK, I want to challenge you guys to join my chug life. What does that mean? A gallon of water for seven days straight. Ooh. 128 fluid ounces. A gallon of water for seven days straight. I mean, I, I love it, um, but why? OK. You want better skin? It yeah. helps with your skin, your complexion. Do you want to help with bloat? Yeah. OK. A lot of people don't realize that they're consuming so much sodium. Mm -hmm. And the water pushes that sodium out. So the more water you bring in, the more water comes out. I There's love it. so many more, but those are a couple of things. No, that's perfect. Yeah. OK, now we got to tell them where they can find you and also join in on this challenge with you and what? You said 300 other people that's doing yeah, it too? Yeah. And let them know so they can join in. Well, my Snapchat is Andy underscore Dooley. That's where I give fitness tips every single day. So that's where Chug Life actually originated, Andy underscore Dooley. My Instagram is the same thing, Andy underscore Dooley. Twitter, Andy underscore Dooley. I think you guys got it. You got it. So on all social platforms, check him out. I'm telling you, you want to follow his journey. All right, guys, thank you so much once again for joining us here in Paradise. You know what to do. Like, share, subscribe right below. And the description of what's coming up next, you can find it below as well. So you can keep up with what we're doing here at The Good News. We'll check you later. And you know what's so awesome? Because he has Christ's light shining out of him. My gosh, Reeboks is, is, can't compare to the light that comes from out of this gentleman Amen. right here. Amen. So. Thank God for you, Andy. And Thank congratulations you. again. Thank you so much. You're going to do awesome things above and beyond. You guys, stay in touch and watching out what is next with Andy Dooley. <laughs>